Hello student, we are studying our elective first course that is Renewable Energy Sources and in that we have been started our second chapter that is Photothermal Applications and we have discussed some Photothermal Applications such as the Solar Distillation, Solar Dryer and the next we have to study is the Solar Cooker and uh, which is particularly box type Solar Cooker so that uh, we start with that so solar cooker and which is the box type solar cooker so let's see a device that utilizes solar energy for cooking purposes it's called solar cooker that means it is a device which is used for the cooking purposes but with the help of solar radiation or solar energy and therefore it is called as the solar cooker the most commonly used form of solar cooker is known as the box type solar cooker there are different types of the solar cooker but generally the box type solar cooker box type solar cooker is used but what is the actual principle behind it so let's see a solar box cooks because the interior of the box is heated by the energy of the sun that means there is an arrangement so that there is a box in that box the container is placed and in that containers the food, food which is placed which we want to cook and this arrangement is done such that the solar radiation is focused on the or collected on the mirror and from that mirror the solar radiation gets reflected and then again focused inside that box so that the temperature of that box is increases and uh, solar energy is converted into the heat energy and uh, with the help of that heat energy the food is cooked it turns to the heat energy when it absorbed by the dark absorber plate and the cooking pots that means the solar cooker consists of dark absorber plate and the cooking pots cooking pots is used to place the food and the dark absorber plate is used to absorb the solar heat radiation and the solar heat in energy is incident on the plane mirror and after that there is a reflection and from that reflection this solar radiation is focused into the box and this solar radiation is converted into heat energy this heat input causes the temperature inside of the solar box cooker to rise until the heat loss of the cooker is equal to the solar heat gain that means this process will continue up to the heat loss of the cooker is equal to the solar heat gain that means the the solar heat radiation and the gain of that heat radiation when becomes equal to the heat loss by the cooker that means the heat transfer to the food to cook when this these two quantities are equal that is the equilibrium temperature then and then the temperature of the box remains same or this in heat input causes the temperature inside of the solar cooker rises that means up to that the temperature of the solar cooker rises up to what the heat loss of the cooker is equal to the solar heat gain so this is the basic principle of the solar cooker and the food is cooked in the shallow vessel of the container that means there is a container two or more containers for the box type solar cooker and in that food is cooked now but how the system is constructed so the construction is the a box type solar cooker consists of following components there are different components such as box glass cover insulation containers and uh, plane reflecting mirror these all are the different components which is used in a solar cooker for the construction let's see first is the box this is an insulated metal or a wooden box it means this is used for the insulation purpose and generally it is a wooden box or metal in many cases but generally there is a wooden box it is a painted black from inside because black surface absorb more heat the coating of the box and which is the inside coating and which is black coating so that the maximum amount of heat is absorbed by that box and the food gets cooked early the box may be provided with four roll wheels 
if we want to move system from one place to another place there is a provision of four roll four roll wheels so that we can replace that system from one point to the next point or one place to another place so this is the box now next is the glass cover a cover made up of two sheets of tough glass held together in aluminium frame is used as a cover of the box that means the when we construct box inside we put the containers and the the box which is coated with the black color or it is a dull black color so that it can withstand to the high temperature and uh, also the some environmental parameters sometimes so it is a dull black painting and this upper part of this box is the glass cover and which is made up from glass and tough on glass and which held together in a aluminium frame and this glass cover is held in a aluminium frame and this aluminium frame is fixed to the box and the thickness of it is a 3 mm thick, thick and fixed in a frame that means the glass cover which has a thickness 3 mm and fixed in a aluminium frame and this aluminium frame again fixed to the box that is the wooden box and this is the glass cover the glass cover is used for the purpose that is the when we placed this system in a sunlight so that the beam radiation is collected on the plane mirror and after that there is a reflection from the plane mirror and this reflected radiation are focused into the box so after that there is a upper part that is a glass cover and this glass cover transmit maximum amount of solar radiation inside the box so the the glass cover has the ability to transmit the nearly 95% solar radiation so therefore glass cover is used the next part is the plane mirror reflector collector area of solar cooker is increased by providing a plane reflecting mirrors that means the, the collector area of the solar cooker that means the, the area on which the maximum solar radiation are incident which is increased by providing the plane reflecting mirrors that means the the radiation which are incident on the plane reflecting mirror which are we are able to collect all these radiation so this is the use of plane mirror reflector a plane mirror reflector fixed in a frame is fixed to the box with the help of hinges that means the plane reflector mirror in a frame there is a wooden frame and this plane mirror reflector is a fixed in the frame with the help of hinges and which is shown in the figure that means handle simply we say handle that is the handle on both sides so that the or guide for addressing mirror one of the same so this is the hinges for the fixing of the plane mirror reflector the mirror reflector can be positioned at any desired angle to the box that means the this plane mirror can be positioned at a particular angle where we get the maximum solar radiation so we are able to obtain the maximum amount of heat the mirror is positioned so that to allow a reflected sunlight fall on the glass cover of the box that means the also the plane mirror position is taken into account so that the reflected radiation which are incident on the glass cover plate and through that it can be transmitted into the box so that the temperature of the box gets increases now next part is the or next component is the cooking containers cooking containers is very important part of the solar cooker in which we put food which we want to cook a set of containers made up of aluminium and black from outside are kept in the box as we seen there is a wooden box and inside the cooking containers are placed and the cooking containers which are coated with the black that means the in, which is in the outside part so that the maximum amount of heat get absorbed by that cooking containers and the food and the food cooks early as possible as these containers are also painted black because black surface absorb more heat we know that the why there is a black painting because due to black painting there is a absorption of heat and which is in the more amount 
so the black content so the containers are coated with the bl black from the outside now the last component is the insulation which very which play very important role because of all the heat losses can be avoided with the help of insulation the loss due to convection is minimized by making the box air tight by providing a rubber strip all round between the upper lid and the box that means the loss of convection that is the heat loss of convection is minimized by making box air tight by providing the rubber strip that means the where we where the if we require the insulation we put rubber strip all round and uh, upper lid of the box and at the upper lid of the box so that there is no heat convection losses and uh, we are able to obtain the maximum amount of heat insulated material like a glass wool paddy hull paddy husk sawdust are filled in a space between black and tray and outer cover box that means the insulator material insulating material which are generally used which are generally glass wood wool paddy paddy husk and sawdust these are the insulating material which we used generally and this material is a filled in a space between black and red tray that means there is a black and tray inside the wooden box and uh, in that the containers are placed this minimizes the heat losses due to conduction that means the, there are two heat losses generally in a solar cooker that is the conduction and convection the convection heat losses can be minimized with the help of black and with the help of the insulating material which we insert in between the black and red tray and the outer cover box that is the wool or glass and the conduction is minimized with the help of the insulation that means the, this material play the role for the both heat losses that is the convection and the conduction so this is the insulation and which is very important for the solar cooker because it indirectly uh, control the efficiency or indirectly helps it to improve the efficiency of the solar cooker so, so this is all about the construction of the solar cooker now this is the box type solar cooker in which there are different components the outer part is the that is the outermost part is the wooden box and inside that there is a black coating so that maximum amount of heat get absorbed and in that the cooking containers are placed and the cooking containers are black painted with the black from the outside so that it uh, it also can absorb the maximum amount of heat and the above that there is a upper part so this is the glass cover so that it can transmit maximum solar radiation which can coming from the plane mirror and the there uh, there, is, there is a handle on both sides so that we can lift that system easily and uh, the plane reflector mirror is at a particular angle or at a particular angle or position at a particular angle so that we can uh, collect maximum amount of solar radiation and also the position of the plane reflector mirror is uh, such that so that it can reflect the solar radiation which are which are able to incident on the glass cover plate so and uh, the upper part is the plane reflector mirror this is the box type solar cooker this is also box type solar cooker one of the same here there are four container with the food to be cooked and the outer part is the wooden box generally wooden box uh, that is having thermocol lining inside because an inner part is the painted black from the inside so that it can absorb the maximum amount of heat and the upper part of that box is the glass sheet cover that means it is used for the transmission purposes of the solar radiation and the above that there is a reflector and which is the plane mirror so we are able to collect the maximum amount of solar radiation or we are able to increase the collector area of the solar cooker so this is all about the solar cooker construction now how it works 
so let's see the food is cooked in the shallow vessel of the container now we know that there is a shallow vessel container in which food is placed and which we want to cook the box has a transparent covering of a glass sheet or a sh or it that means the the solar cooker consists of the transparent covering of glass on which the solar radiation can be focused from the plane reflector mirror the solar cooker is placed in sunlight and a reflector that is a plane mirror is adjusted in a such way that a strong beam of sunlight enters the box through the glass sheet that means the position of the plane reflector mirror is adjusted so that a strong beam of sunlight enters the box through the glass sheet that means the position is particularly fixed for the plane reflector mirror so that we are able to collect the maximum amount of solar radiation and which we are able to focused this solar radiation onto the glass cover when we place the solar cooker in a sunlight the blackened metal surfaces in the wooden box absorb infrared radiation from the beam of the sunlight and heat produces raises the temperature of the blackened metal surface to about 100 degree celsius that means there is a black coating inside the wooden box and this black coating which help us to increase the inside temperature of the solar cooker that means the it helps to absorb the maximum amount of heat and the temperature of the interior part of the solar cooker increases and which is up to 100 degree celsius that is the large temperature and which is used for the cooking purposes the temperature attains depends upon the intensity of solar radiation and the material of insulation the these are two very important parameters that is the intensity of the solar radiation and the insulation material which decide the temperature attained by the solar cooker that means these two parameter which which are help us to decide the efficiency of the solar cooker that means the, how much the intensity of solar radiation and the which type of the material is used for the insulation the amount of solar radiation intensity can be increased by providing mirror that means the as we seen in a construction part the plane reflector mirror is used to increase the collector area of the solar cooker so that the maximum amount of solar radiation intensity can be achieved the food absorb heat from the black surface and gets cooked that means there is arrangement such as there is a outside box that is the wooden box and this wooden box is a coated with a black paint inside and in that the container are placed so that the container are blackened outside and this black surface absorb the maximum amount of heat and the food gets cooked the thick glass sheet does not allow the heat produced to escape and thus helps in raising the temperature of the box to sufficiently high degree to cook the food also the glass cover plate an play another important role that means they avoid the heat losses from the solar interior part solar cooker interior part so that it helps to raising the temperature of the box to a sufficiently high degree and the, due to high temperature food get cooked so this is the actual principle how the solar cooker works the time required for cooking is reduced if a metallic vessels with a tight lid and a painted dull black from the outside are used when we used the tight box air tight box with the black coating and the black is the the box is made up of metallic vessels that means if we consider the metal metal have good conductivity so that the maximum amount of heat get absorbed and we are able to obtain the maximum amount of temperature and so that the maximum amount of heat and the time required for cooking is reduced so that the time required for cooking is reduced the time required for cooking is inversely proportional to the collector area that means there is a inverse inverse relationship between time required for cooking and the collector area if we increase the collector area then the time required for cooking is less and vice versa that is 
if we decrease the collector area the time required for cooking is uh, large so this is the inverse relationship between time required for cooking and the collector area this is all about the solar cooker we have studied the what is the solar cooker what is the basic principle behind it and the how it constructed and how it works now the next part is the advantages and the disadvantages of the solar cooker first we see advantages first advantage is the use of solar cooker does not cause pollution that means the the solar cooker is used only solar radiation and which is a pollution free so the use of solar cooker does not cause any pollution second advantage is the the solar energy used by cooker solar cooker is available for free of cost that means uh, this uh, technique or this uh, photothermal application is uh, free of cost that means the solar energy used for used by the solar cooker is available in our environment and which is a uh, naturally present in our environment and which is the free of cost the third advantage is the there is no problem of uh, chairing of food that means there is no problem of chairing of food and no over flowing that means there is no overflow for the food cooking so this is the advantage of the solar cooker next advantage is it is a easy it is a simple to use and easy to manufacture that means the it is a very easy in a construction and as well as simple to use when we plan for the food cooking then after that the procedure will be very easy that means there is no requirement or uh, to operate specially it so this is the it is easy in a use or simple to use now the next advantage is the orientation or sun tracking is not needed because in a solar cooker we use plain reflector mirror and which is fixed to the wooden blocks so there is no ori any sun tracking is used for the fall to follow the path of the sun so this is the advantage and hence the there is no tracking system hence the cost of the system is uh, low vitamins in the food are not destroyed and the food cooked is uh, nutritive and uh, delicious with a natural taste that means uh, when we cook the food with the help of solar cooker the vitamin are not destroyed and the food cooked with food cooked with the solar cooker is a nutritive and delici delicious in a taste that means there is no change in the taste and also the food is a nutritive the next advantage is the one can rely on a cooker's efficiency for longer period that means one can believe one can believe on the solar cooker efficiency for long time that means it gives the good output for a long time or we can use the solar cooker for a long time so that it gives the better performance so this is uh, these all are the advantages of the solar cooker but it has some disadvantages because uh, it can works with the it can work on the solar energy and we know that the solar energy can we cannot be obtained the solar energy during cloudy days or sunny days so these all are the disadvantages let's see the first disadvantage is the solar cooker cannot be used during night and cloudy days because in a night and cloudy days there is no solar intensity so there is no question to operate the solar cooker so second disadvantage is the it takes longer time to cook food that means generally with the help of fossil fuels we can cook food it uh, requires very low time but with the help of we can with the help of solar cooker the time required to cook the food is large as compared to using the fossil fuels so this is the disadvantage of the solar cooker third disadvantage is the one has to cook according to the sunshine the menu has be has to be preplanned that means the cooking is depend on the sunshine that means when we have less sunshine sometimes we have large sunshine or the intensity of solar radiation is large so according to that we have to decide many and 
we have to decide menu and which is to be which has to be pre-planned so this is the disadvantage that means the we cannot uh, cook any food at any time because uh, there is a variation in the solar intens intensity so this is the uh, this is also the disadvantage of the solar cooker now the next disadvantage is the chapatis and puris are not cooked because they require high temperature for the baking that means the other foods like rice and some boiling food which can be cooked with the help of solar cooker but the chapatis and puris require high temperature for their baking so with the help of solar cooker we cannot uh, cook the, these two atoms so this these all are the disadvantages of the solar cooker so this is all about the solar cooker and uh, which is very important photothermal application which is used for the cooking purposes and it can be used in a variety that means uh, in a different way it is the box type solar cooker parabolic solar cooker and all other different types of the solar cooker and the solar cooker is used in a very large amount in our country as well as in the other country or in the world so this is the one of the widely used solar photothermal application so this is all about the solar cooker now in our next video we will continue with the another photothermal application so we will continue with that